Analytics play a pivotal role in helping practice leaders manage their businesses more effectively. It's critical to monitor your KPIs to run your practice more smoothly. However, many systems make it really difficult to get data and even harder to get data and use it in a meaningful way. We designed Command Center with usability in mind, and we made sure that we chose the proper metrics that mattered the most to practice leaders. The result is a user-friendly business snapshot that gives the user the ability to drill down for deeper insight. With Command Center, you're able to keep a pulse on your key performance indicators, ask questions about what's going on in your practice, and gain greater control on your financial results. The first thing you'll notice is a list of KPIs in three different categories, revenue, accounts receivable, and practice management. And KPIs such as total billing, total payments, and reimbursement per procedure. Accounts receivable shows you things like first pass resolution rate, first pass denial rate, and gross collection rate. Whereas in practice management, you'll find your visits per workday, appointment no-show rates, and billing and payment lags. Right now you can see that I'm looking at the December 2014 figures for each KPI. December 2014 is on the top right corner here as well as the title of the first column. I can also switch between months with this dropdown. You'll see how as soon as I switch months, the number will also change. Next to the month to date column, I can see my six month average for the specific KPI and then the variance between the two. Red is a negative variance and green is a positive variance. The next column is the year to date column. This trend column here shows you at a glance how the trend for the specific KPI looks over the past six months. This is here so that once you log in, you can see how your KPIs are trending very quickly. If one looks concerning, that's when you can drill in, in which I'll show you in a minute. The blue bubbles here indicate if anyone in your practice has made comments on a specific KPI. This is convenient if you want to notate something regarding a KPI and you want others to see it as well. As I mentioned briefly a minute ago, within each KPI you have the ability to drill down further. If you click on a KPI, you'll see four tabs. The Trend tab, the Org view, the Guide, and the Comments. The Trend tab shows me the data points for the specified KPI over the past year. If I click on the plus sign and the ruler that pops up, the specific data points will appear on the trend. The next tab is the Org view tab. This view automatically lands on the month-to-date number for the specified KPI at the business entity level. If I select CareCloud Clinic, it will drill into the locations. I can then choose a location to also drill into the provider level. The third tab is the guide. This is where we explain the definition of the KPI selected, as well as how we here at CareCloud calculated the KPI. We want it to be very transparent in this regard so that as a user, you can replicate any of these calculations. The fourth tab is the comments tab. This is where users within your practice can comment on KPIs between one another. These promote collaboration in your practice around performance. As you can see, Command Center makes it really easy for you to track your metrics and performance so you can run your business more effectively. Contact us for a closer look at Command Center and the rest of our analytics.